Okay, folks, uh, James McCormick here with Digging History. Had another amazing day today. Searching, uh, still working on the rivers and ferry crossing edition of of digging history and honoring the sacrifice. We also have extreme Appalachian discoveries, um, and we're going to be um, we're going to be doing some digging uh, on Saturday as well. So uh, around a very cool uh, ferry crossing site, um, but a lot of these areas are in the hills, facing down what I would call overwatch positions. Now, found a lot of coins again today. I mean, this was a great silver coin day today. Uh, again, I found another. Now, this is about, um, this area is probably about 10 miles from the area that I found the coins at yesterday. And, you know, out here today, you know, so I had uh, 3, 6, 9, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 coins, 16 silver coins. Here's another Spanish Real 1781. I found a uh, half a, of a Spanish Real. Uh, looks like it's a 17 something. I can't tell the, the date on it. But uh, these were all made for, it appears that they were made for Mexico City. So somebody traveled a long way with these coins. I found a, uh, a large bust, you know, 1821. Uh, coin here. Unfortunately, it has a hole in it, but that hole was used because they sewed these coins on the inside of their pockets so that they wouldn't lose them. Seated liberties, nothing in here, nothing in here is um, is beyond 18, 1842. 1842 is the newest coin that I found, and some of these are in just remarkable condition. I'm going to show you this um, this one right here, look at that. What a beautiful coin that is. Um, gorgeous condition. And we're talking about, it even has the edge around, um, you know, the serrated edge around it. This, this would be considered a very good condition coin. Uh, and you're talking about a coin from 1830. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. Yeah, 1831. So an 1831 large bust dime uh, that I found in these 15 coins that I found, found four seated Liberty half dimes. These are itty bitty. So instead of using the word, just saying it's a nickel, you know, you can see, um, I'm, I'm going to try to hold it up so you can see both sides so you understand what it looks like. But if you look on the back of that coin, you'll see uh, it says half dime. Do I got it upside down? I think I do. <laughs> Uh, there we go. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, so it says half dime. So it literally has the word half dime on the, on the bottom of it. Interesting. In this area, I found a couple of bullets. I found a couple of pistol bullets. I found this rifle bullet and I found half a horseshoe and these coins were all spread out. So it almost looked like this person might've been shot from off of their horse, uh, and possibly drug, and, and just drop their coins all along the way. Uh, I don't know the full story on that, but I can tell you that uh, when you find things like a broken horseshoe with the nails still in it, you know, uh, that horse was probably there as well. So who knows? You know, somebody could have been shot and killed in that area. And yesterday when I was looking, I found pistol rounds, you know, around uh, an area where I found 14 coins. And we're talking... 10 miles, uh, maybe maybe 11 miles apart, these two sites, but both of them on the river, one on, um, you know, one side of the river and one on the other, but then you put 10, 11 miles in between them, and uh, let me tell you, it's amazing. This is rough, rugged terrain. I'm not kidding you. Uh, you. You really have to be on your A game. You cannot be out there, you know, I mean, I'm 52, almost 53 years old. Uh, it's very hard on me physically. Um, and, you know, and I like to think that I'm in fairly good shape for a man my age. So before you get out and engaging in this, make sure you go see the doctor, get yourself checked out, because the last thing you want to do is get up there and have a heart attack, you know, while you're trying to climb a hill looking for, you know, coins or whatever. There's nothing worth you losing your life over. 
So, you know, people get real excited about this and they're real competitive, especially metal detectorists. And, and they're, they're dying to find out where all these spots are at. My property sites are either public or private property. If they're private property, you most likely are not going to get access. If they're public property, we've got permission to go there. So we go and we talk to city council members. We talk to, you know, I met with a police officer today to get specific access to this, this area. Um, and it wasn't hard to do, but if I wasn't there on a legitimate mission with the West Virginia Library Channel actually filming and doing something, then they would have never given me access uh, to go to that site. And, and really, uh, you, you just, you have to do this right. You really do. And then fill your holes, be respectable. Even if it's in the middle of the woods, folks, fill your holes. People go turkey hunting, deer hunting, squirrel hunting, everything else. Last thing they want to do is trip and fall and break their leg, you know, in one of your uh, holes that you've left uh, unfilled out there. That's a lot of fun. A lot of history here today so i did find some other artifacts as well like i said i'm not going to show you those other than this bullet um, this bullet may have very well been the one that fell that person or fell the horse you know again it could have been a situation where the guy was you know the horse was shot out from under him and you know um you know he fell and everything just went everywhere and he probably had to run for his life not saying that he was killed but something happened there there's a story you don't just see this kind of money in that time period just, you know, this is a, you know, this is better than a week's pay here uh, for that time period. So, you know, if you're looking at face value alone for that time period, what are you looking at? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, uh, 90, you know, there's a dollar and, uh, and, and 10 cents here. So, you know, it's at least a couple days pay and, and, and in some cases, maybe more, who knows? But anyways, that's it. I'm not going to talk to you anymore about it. It's a great day. Get out and get to digging. You're not going to be able to find it sitting on the couch and, uh, you know, but again, be safe and get yourself checked out. Don't go, you know, and I watch, I monitor all of my things. When my heart rate gets up and stuff, I know it's time for me to stop and slow down, you know, um, just Take it easy and have a good time. God bless you and keep watching us on Digging History.